Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 26th of August. Now, the planets have been doing a lot to empower you in recent months. Of course, you have Jupiter, the planet of growth, in your sign for another year. Jupiter in this area is exalted insofar as this is an opportunity for the planet to really start to affect the more spiritual base not just within you, but within everybody, because cancer, of course, is about nurturement. It's about caring, because its ruler is the moon. So Jupiter likes being here, so that's very good for you in terms of your outlook. But also you've had Mars in your sign, and Mars is a very direct influence. It wants what it wants now, instant recognition, instant satisfaction of our needs. And therefore, Mars at times can be a tricky planet to handle. And if you've had any kind of colds or boils or headaches over the last six weeks, it wouldn't actually be a particular surprise. But it's going to be moving this Wednesday, and it moves into an area which is very much more to do with your values, and in a practical sense to do with money. But back to the influence of Cancer. The other influence there, Jupiter, has been in opposition with Pluto. And this is an opposition which has real benefits, but it also has real challenges. It, can, it may have seen you pushing your best foot forward more effectively, but at the same time, it may have seen you at times almost too evangelical and too much wanting your own way. And this is because of Pluto's influence, which is very much about power. And, power's been tra and Pluto has been transforming, I beg your pardon, the way that you relate over the last four years. And on the whole, in a very positive way, making you less inclined to avoid confrontation and more inclined to stand up for yourself. But this opposition comes to a close on Monday, and I think that's something that you can really celebrate. But the Sun and Mercury moved last week into your sector of communication. The problem is, at the start of this week, they're going to be in opposition with Neptune. And when, when we talk about communication and Neptune, we talk about muddles. And we talk about fogginess, smoke and mirrors. It can be hard to get at the facts. And if you are planning anything or discussing anything, you must stick to the facts and demand the facts from other people. Otherwise, you could be seriously misled. Now, that influence is going to start to drift away by Thursday, but there is a quarter moon then, which occurs. This quarter moon suggests that when it comes to expressing yourself, you need to just be conscious that of not trying too hard. There is times to go for it, to engage ourselves with lots of mental tasks, and there's time just to plan things. And this one could see you rushing around a little bit and end up feeling completely exhausted if you try to do too much. So try to throttle back a little bit. But there is still an opposition this week between Venus and Uranus, suggesting that something can come completely out of the blue when it comes to your working situation. It may be that a relationship that you're having with someone can surprise you. It could be quite positive. On the other hand, it could, it could alarm you in a, in, a, in a way, insofar as someone might let you know that they really like you, but it might not some, be someone that necessarily you'd be attracted to. On the other hand, because this aspect has loads of different influential possibilities, it, it is the case that you could be attracted to someone from a different age group to you. And that could delight you or alarm you again. It just depends on your unique pers personal circumstances. But by the end of this week, I do feel that your mind will start to clear, uh, the dialogue will get clearer too. And with Mars finding its feet in that second house of your horoscope, if you do buy anything new, it would possibly be something that's to do with communicational equipment. So a new computer, a new smartphone, things like this. It's been a pleasure being with you, Cancer. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.